Yeah, we do. We got him. We got number six here. And he's a good one too. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me here today. I have made it back to the Big Coal River here. I'm right off of Route 3 here in Boone County. I'm in a place that I've never fished before. I'm right off the main road, so I apologize if you can hear the traffic, but I'm just right off the, the main road here on Route 3. I passed this on the way up to where I was originally going to fish this morning, but this stretch looks so good, guys. I turned around and come back down here just to fish it. I've looked at these areas on a map, you know, trying to find places that I could wade fish, but being here, it even looks a lot better. This water looks incredible this morning. It's a Monday, it's August the 29th, so we're in late summer. It's about 15 minutes till eight in the morning. It's about 69 degrees, so I'm ready to do some fishing. This is where we're gonna to start today. As you can see behind me, that's where we're headed. I'm just exploring a new area here today, water that I've never fished before. I need to get back in the Big Coal River here a little bit more often than I do, but I hope you guys join me here today. I hope we have some fun, and I hope we catch a few fish. Try here's what we're gonna be starting off with. I've never used this before. We're gonna try it out. I thought it might work. It's a Yum Christy Crawl. Green pumpkin, purple flake. I've got it on a number size two hook. Texas rig deer, it's a wide gap hook with a 1 16th ounce weight on it there. I could probably use it weightless, but for now, I thought maybe in this deeper water I need some weight. So we're gonna try starting out with that. See if we can do any good. I think it's about a three and a half inch crawl. But uh, we'll see what happens here. That's what we're gonna start off with at least. I don't know if I can get around this tree right here. It's a good looking stretch of water here, but uh, I may have to go around or under it. I don't know, but there's some good looking water right in here, folks. I'm telling you, there's gotta be some bass in here. Something. We are gonna find out today. We're gonna get hooked up, trust me. It's a matter of time, I want you to look at this water right here. If we don't catch something here, guys, I'll be surprised. We might have to change bait. Maybe that's uh, not what they want today. Yeah, yeah, we got something. Finally. Finally, he stays hooked. Come here, buddy. Yes, sir. First one here on the robo worm. Smallmouth bass. The skunk buster. Well, folks, that was uh, fish number one. I'm hoping we can catch some more here. Some good looking water. I've had a number of hits, but uh, I am fishing with these worms. I do sometimes miss quite a bit of fish on them. I'm using this wide gap hook. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but we finally hooked up with one and that got the skunk out of the way. Hopefully we can get to catch some, some more fish here. It looks like the sun is coming up. It's gonna be a hot day right now. It feels pretty good. And didn't feel even better here, guys, if we could get on some fish. It's good to land one. 
finally. Yeah. There's another one. We've got our second fish, guys, here if we can land him. Well, Smalley, just about, I believe, like that last one. All right, you're getting water all over my camera lens. That's his brother. It's about the same size. Another little Smalley on the robo worm here. Guys, that's our second fish. Hopefully, we can catch a few more here. That's two on the robo worm. So far, it's getting it done here. Getting a little bit more action anyway. Looks like we're getting ready to get a really deep hole above me here, but what's in front of me here looks pretty good too. All right, folks, we had to put a fresh red crawler on there. That one was getting tore up pretty bad. Caught a couple fish on it. Got a hit right there. Look here. We got it. We got it. He's just a small one. That's why they wasn't hooking up. But I put a fresh robo worm on here and that's what happened little baby small mouth this is the littlest one of the day but he's pretty you're gonna grow up ain't you buddy may catch you again one day you never know a little bit more action guys we're getting into some real deep water here i don't know how it's gonna work out i may stick to my left here the roadside but it looks like it's extremely deep, so. Hopefully we can catch a few. You can see right here what I'm talking about, right here. I'm just probably gonna try to go up through there. Definitely can't uh, do much on that other side. There's a high bank right here, so I don't know. We'll just work our way up here. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw this robo worm for a little while longer. We may switch it up, try something else. So far we've caught three on it. We got one already? Man, I believe I got to hit this as soon as it hit the water. I believe I did, man. Jesus. Let's throw it over and let's hook him this time. Why not? Here. Yes, sir. He come back, buddy. He come back. Didn't you? Oh, they're aggressive, boys. Number four. We're picking up, guys. A little bit more action here. So far, all the fish are about the same size. That six, sorry, six to eight inch range, but we threw it back over and caught him. Well, guys, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. I'm taking a little break here. Started kind of slow this morning. It has picked up, up to four fish now. They've all been caught on that red crawler, robo worm. So uh, again, a little bit more action here. The bite is starting to pick up. Again, no size, but guys, we're looking for some big ones here because I'm going to show you what this water looks like ahead of me here. A real deep hole of water. I think I caught a couple right back here as I started in this deep hole, but check this out. I'm going to try to go up this left side and go on up. Who knows what lies ahead, guys. I haven't really thrown any crankbaits yet, but I'm getting ready to. I've put that Rebel Crawdad on. So we're just gonna try it here. We're gonna see if we can catch some more fish. It's getting hot, so uh, got a couple hours left here before it gets really hot. So let's see if these crankbaits work. Move on up a river here and see if we can't catch some more bass. Nothing on the Rebel Crawl here, guys. I'm surprised we're in some excellent water. I figured I would have hooked one right in here. Oh, right there was a little baby one. I mean, that was a tiny one. <laughs> Had another one hooked there as I was talking, but uh, haven't landed anything on it yet. I'm surprised. Man, it's a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. This might be a better one. This is a better one. Oh, man. He hit it out of nowhere. Oh, man. I hope he's hooked good. This is a little bit better fish. Ah, we got it. All right, guys, that's a nice little smallmouth here. 
Nice little smallmouth. Let's get a little measurement on him here. I'd say he's maybe 12 or 13 inches. Well, folks, we got a measurement on him. He's 12 and a half inches. Caught one just the other day, 12 and a half. And this one's 12 and a half too. Beautiful. Chunky smallmouth. One last look at him. We're going to turn him back into the big coal. Go on, little buddy. Now that was a little bit better fish. We've moved the bar up a little bit here. For sure. I believe that makes number five. We'll keep chugging along here and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw one more time underneath that sycamore tree right over there. That looks like a good spot. Boy, he hit that hard too. He hit it hard. Oh man, they're sitting in there. There was another one. There was another one. I am gonna throw it over again. And they're hitting it quick. Let's see if he'll do it again. Yeah, we do. We got him. We got number six here. And he's a good one too. He may even be better. No yet. Come on, man. Yeah, come over this way. If you don't want to. Yes. All right, we've got another decent fish here. Well, folks, here he is. Believe it or not, he's almost as big. This one's 12 and a quarter. That other was 12 and a half. The other quarter inch, he'd been the exact same as that other one. But again, a beautiful smallmouth here. Let's let him go. There he goes. Man, that's two right over there. Well, guys, since I've stuck that Rebel Crawdad on there, two nice fish right here in the same hole of water. One twelve and a half, one twelve and a quarter. Nice, solid smallmouth here on the Big Cold River. Just look at this. Right over here, guys. I kept getting hits over and kept getting hits. And finally hooked up, but look what lies ahead here. As you can see, those crankbaits work well for me. I like using crankbaits. And uh, since I've put that Rebel Crawl on, two solid smallmouth here rather quickly. I don't know how much filming I'm going to get done today, guys. I've got one battery that's not wanting to cooperate with me. It's not wanting to keep charged. So I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to move up a river here. But again, I'm having some fun. I think it makes maybe five or six, maybe seven fish. But anyway, having some fun here. The bar is moving up. Guys, let's move on up here and see if we can't catch a few more. There's two back-to-back -back nice smallmouth here on the Big Coal River. I'm getting ready to move on up. But that's two good ones, guys. One twelve and a half, one twelve and a quarter. Almost identical. So let's move on up here, get around these rocks, and it looks excellent up here. Yeah, we'll give the old Rebel Crawdad a little bit more of a try here. So far, he's produced the two best fish before we put that uh, Rapala on there. Oh, man, do we got a fish? Oh, my goodness. I believe we got a baby. What do we have, a rock bass or just a little smallmouth? Check this out, guys. Just a little bit bigger than the lure. He's about four inches. Buddy, you need to go out there and tell your mom and dad to hit this big crawdad I'm throwing. I know they're out there. Go back and tell them now. Tiny bass. About four inches long, guys. I guess we'll say he's number seven. But uh, we had him hooked here. That might be one of the smallest of the year.
Well, guys, it looks like I'm going to have to take a break. I'm going to have to uh, do a quick recharge here. I'm having trouble out of one of my batteries. Um, I'm going to take me a little break here. Go get me something to drink. I thought I would take you guys down in the racing area. I know another good spot. So I'm going to give these batteries time to charge up. We're not done fishing yet, guys. If you stick with me, we'll go down. It's a place that me and my wife fished last year. We've done pretty good. It's an excellent area. I know it's midday, but uh, I've got some time to kill. We'll let those batteries charge up. Just catch me on the other side, guys, and we'll be in racing. We'll still be in the Big Hole River, and hopefully we'll still be catching some fish. Oh, man, somebody lost their donuts. Wow. Cold trucks everywhere. I hear water. Ugh. See spider webs. I just don't want to see no snakes. I believe I'm about ready to drop over something here. God, I can walk in the briars. Jesus. Well, guys, I'm taking you to a good place here. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't a good place. And I do me in a good place. Welcome back, guys, to those of you that are still with me here. I'm on a different section of the Big Coal River here that I fished last year, and I've done quite well. This is originally where I wanted to start earlier today, but I figured I would fish, you know, a different section of the Big Coal River somewhere that I've never fished before. And that's exactly what I did earlier. I fished up there in the community and it's called Fosterville. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Again, it's Fosterville is where I was fishing there on the Big Cove River just past the Seth area in the Seth High School a few miles. I'm now back here in the racing area. I'm fishing some more beautiful water, but it's time to get serious. It's time to have some more fun and it's time to start catching some more bass. Man, I'm telling you guys, this is an excellent spot. This is where I caught one last year, 14 inches. Nice smallmouth right there. Caught it right here on a Nico Helgramite, I do believe, on one of my videos last year. But I was on the other side. This time I'm on, on this side, it's a huge hole of water. You can see the current coming in and how this is laid out. And uh, I'm gonna start with the Nico Helgramite and just work my way up. I'm gonna go up toward the Indian Creek Bridge here in Racine in Boone County and see if we can't catch some more bass. Guys, I guess we'll just start right here. We'll throw it down the timber here and hopefully we get hit. Man, that sun's out. There's a ton of leaves on this water. Let's just hope there's tons of fish in here. Caught some nice ones earlier. Caught two, both over 12 inches. We're gonna see if we can continue the streak here setting the bar a little high but who knows you never know do you throw here on the big cold river look here look here i felt that yes sir all right boys it didn't take long 
with the Nico Helgermite. He may not be a state record, but he's a little small mouth. I think you make number eight for the day, buddy. Let's just hope we can get that big one to come out. This is one heck of a hole of water here. It didn't take long, guys. On that Nico Helgramite, I figure I'd just start right off the bat throwing one of my best lures at him. I know it works well in this water. Caught him on it time and time again. But I like throwing different stuff at him, so. This is what we're gonna start with. Who knows what we'll finish up with. I know I'll probably throw at TRD crawl, maybe a Rapala again, so who knows? Stick with me here and we'll see. Yeah, there's one. There's one. Yes, sir, on the Nico Helgramite. Come on in, buddy. Decent little smallmouth right here. All right. Yeah, man. We'll let you go if you just hold still. See how easy that was? Beautiful little smallmouth, man, here in Racine. You make number nine, buddy. All right. I said, guys, I figured we'd start off with that Nico Helgermite and just see what happens. Caught two on it already. I'm gonna throw right over in that shade. It looks like a good spot. That was a that was a decent little smolly there. Gosh, I hope this continues, guys. There's some good water just ahead of me here. Right off of Route 3, you can see where my truck is parked. Look there, man. Had a hit right there. Man. You just never know about these little ones, buddy. They'll hit right in front of your face. You never know when you're going to get a hit. A lot of times it's when you least expect it. Yeah. All right. Oh, God, he's not a big one. He might be like that last one guys lord have mercy look at this oh he got off about four inches about four inches hitting that big blower right underneath that bridge guys a little bitty one we almost landed him we'll cast one more time over and i'm going over here to my left side See what's on this other side. See if we can catch one over there. All right, let's make a move here. All right, guys, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I fished quite a bit, but had some malfunction there with my batteries. I am gonna have to get me some new batteries, but uh, we fished two different places here today on the Big Coal River. Caught, I believe, four on the Robo Worm, three on the Rebel Crawdad, and two down here on the Nico Helgramite. But uh, I had some fun today. I definitely got my exercise in. It is hot, so I'm gonna call it a day. Who knows where I'll be next, but I'll be back again soon here, guys, somewhere in some river here in Southern West Virginia. So stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.